Everything has a beginning. So semea ay ay lo na amchang. And it definitely has an ending. Ay ay foy lo na yuma. Somehow it will finish at a point of time. Ay 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 tay mi wo fatu lo ngay na fai wo. Everything has to finish. Le na chawa na ire yuma me. The time when it finish, ma lo tay mi fai wo. Determines we when we should start. If we fall fai yuma. Ile amatanga olau sabali and determines the power to achieve. If I be na foi le marusiana and fai and fai to nuwa. The beginning is very important. Ta uwa tere le amatanga osema. It sets a foundation to see no. If I to long ina si fai fai ole mea oi na ta to dia ma iya. Your beginning determines your arrival. Pe yo no fai to le amatanga fai la mala mo iya ilo yuma. When you see an athletic field. I like him like to all all you need. There is an urge to push forward to the finish line. All you need are for no no man in your own ear in your tower with five room. I want to speak today about the finishing anointing. The fear tell no to you tell me in five room I five you are in five. Today we are going to anoint people. On all me as so that you need to do five room. We are getting closer to the end of the year. All the talent of all that to you five room all to some. God put in my heart to speak on the finishing anointing. The anointing is to break the yoke. The anointing is to make it in oil. Oil softens. Oil lubricates. Oil energizes. Oye foi na te fa malosia pe foi le malosia na isima. Making sure that there is easy achievement. Ina ye foi mo fi ai ona fa tau nu me alo mana mi. Even in the face of opposition, ile tai mi tau te fa sa ma yai malfi. The anointing does not stop challenges. Ile mo fi ona fa pe la ye fa uma unta pe ai le uli tau. But the anointing will give you understanding. Anointing will give you grace. Anointing will give you boldness. To confront challenges. To confront whatever is trying to stop God's attainment in your life. The anointing will give you a stature to a sheep of a lion. Hallelujah. We find this in the book of Matthew chapter 26. Verse 69 and 70. We see here that Peter denied Jesus three times. The servant girl said to Peter. Hey, you also were with Jesus, the Galilee. Sorry, but Peter denied Jesus. He denied Jesus before them all. Peter said, "I don't know the man. I don't know Jesus." Yet he walked with Jesus. He followed Jesus. But he said at this point of time, I don't know Jesus. But the same Peter, after being baptized by the power of the Holy Ghost, he rose in boldness. He rose in power. The finishing anointing will give you power. Will give you boldness. The anointing will set the stage. So that you can have much work done with less noise. In a year, if I I na lena male mu mu wo wo to kaso. It pushes you for productivity. Na the tule yo ay na ye fa fa na wi na me. It pushes you without blowing the horn. Na the tule yo ay no amalo ta na di a wo me fa. The finishing anointing. On fa wo ma fa i wo ay fa wo ma. That's not fear opposition. Ele fa 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 na yo ay fi. 
But if she is in opposition, I am fire and a fire in that field. Opposition provokes the finishing anointing. So shall we tell the feeling in a mafayai on a mower at a tournament of Shama for our way out? It provokes the finishing anointing into operation. Never to have a mafayai feeling in a fatamuway at a tournament. That is why today, Mel and I are a yaso. God is saying, Menorah Prayer Mountain Church. My Yatua Menorah, God is saying, Happy Center Church. But the foil tattoo, Lord, to God is saying, next Nairo ministry. Your foil tattoo. I am releasing the finishing anointing. My Yahoo Triassus, that we found. Are you young, Elma? Hallelujah. So you can achieve much. In a young Fayai, on a telling him. So you can extend the kingdom of God. Tato Fano Telena, my Lord. This wise was circumstances. Only a lover in there. A tool like my father, my actual, the spine will come to me. Only I love my father, touch out. Touch your neighbor and say, you're about to receive the finishing anointing. I have my power for a woman. If I have you, I have you for a woman. Number one. Hallelujah. Number one. The finishing anointing. Only if I have you, I have you. He eradicates barrenness. Only. The woman of Aumale and the father of Wina Mea will lay far out. The finishing anointing of the Fauma Fail destroyed barrenness. Not a Falea Naina, Va, I may say, or Tuaoi. There were few ladies in the Bible. Mayaia, Naita Mata into Spain that were barren. Ele mafayu mafana na uoti manaba wote amre tu ofine ele mafana na keno give birth. Ele mafayu na mafana na. Hallelujah. They had a bad beginning. Leanga le amtanga leola. We see in the story of Hannah. I buy for ya Hannah ye malona tala. She was praying in the church. Sasa talo ile kalisia. Benina looked down on her. Saya ite mai kayo Benina ipe sa mai ma walalo ya. But she was pouring out her heart to the Lord. Because she was barren. We see the story of Elizabeth. Couldn't bear a child. We see the story of Manoah's wife. The beginning was not good. Because they were barren. God is saying, I am about to open every womb this morning. God is saying, I am calling for souls from your God. Baron is not of God. Baron is not of God. Deuteronomy 7, verse 14. Baron is a product of, of a curse. But it ends today. God is about to open your womb. In the natural. In spiritual. Hallelujah. All these women, they started bad. I buy them a ton of milk feeding. They cannot bear child. They live a fire and fire and out below for you to all see the mother who tell me to feel it. Sarah began bad. They live a fire and a fire. Sarah, she never bear a child. They are sitting on my teeth. She looked at Hagar. I baba yatu. She looked at Hagar. I baba yatu ya karan. For a son. Because she was barren. Bad beginning. But the finishing anointing. She became the mother of nations. She gave birth to Isaac. She gave birth to Isaac. She started in pain. Cannot bear a child. There is a time I'm fine to find a way. She started in pain. I don't know what situation you're facing today. Maybe you're in the bad beginning of your life. I don't know what you're facing today. But I want to remind you. Out of fear, 
the finishing anointing oh, yes. for you, my father, will empower you will give you boldness Hannah started in vain she couldn't bear a child having been in down on her but in the end she gave birth to Samuel Samuel was the prophet of God the Bible says that every word from his mouth will not fall on the ground he was the prophetic word for the nation as you cry out to God today maybe this is your season of bad beginnings lift up your head high your ending shall be greater than your beginning there is a finishing anointing coming your way for every works of the enemy will cease for the accuser will be silenced for the finger of the accuser will be crippled by the power of the finishing anointing I don't care what the devil tells you whether your family is over whether you cannot bear a child anymore whether you are losing your job whether you cannot pay your mortgage anymore today God is releasing the finishing voice give you promise to empower you to fulfill your prophetic destiny. Arise, Sarah. To Raya Sarah. Isaac is on the way. Arise, Hannah. Oh, Samuel is on the way. Arise, my Lord's wife. Samson is on the way. Your neighbor and say your miracle is on the way. Come on, touch three people and say the finishing anointing, the finishing empowerment, the finishing grace in upon you today. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Elijah said, run, Ahab, run. Elijah said, run, Ahab, run. My area, tamoe, yavo, tamoe. For the sound of abundance of rain. On the wall, the sound of abundance of rain. When you look to the horizon, there's the Finishing anointing. As you push through, push through with your prayers. Push through with your fasting. Oh, for the devil is a liar. Keep on pushing for your family. Keep on pushing for your marriage. The finishing anointing. Let's give God a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 All the dark spells of the devil over our lives will be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Because of the finishing anointing. On our fauma fau 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 yaimeuma. Hallelujah. The Bible says that not by might. Nor by power. 
But by my spirit, saith the Lord. Maybe you started there. But there's a finishing anointing coming your way. Number two. The finishing anointing. Makes you achieve much with less effort. Not only the finishing anointing will eradicate barrenness. But the finishing anointing makes you achieve much with less effort. Touch your neighbor and say, You shall achieve much with less effort. Hallelujah. Amen. Great men across the earth. But no one touched the world like Jesus. He was born in a manger. Shut out from the inn. Jesus was seen by a few at his birth. Jesus was rejected by his own. He was sold and forsaken. He was sought by those he trusted the most. He was crucified by the very people he created. Hallelujah. Amen. He was pierced on the cross. The cross of Calvary. But when the finishing anointing was at work, I know what time if I when his blood touched the ground, you know, a pile of the church of Ile the finishing anointing at his best. Oh, in now, I am now, you in my oil, Father. He was seen by very few people at his birth. You know, the final night, don't eat your head, my Lord. But when he died on the cross, I don't believe that. The whole world saw him. Yeah. Even the earth testified to his majestic finish. And he said, He is finished. He is finished. He is finished. When he died, the earth shook. The sun turned down. The finishing anointing. When, when Jesus leave on earth, oh, so four years sooner, he healed the very few people. But at his death, every sickness was healed. Every disease is healed. Even today, the power. Jesus will heal every sickness, heal every marriage, heal every relationship. The power of the finishing anointing God is releasing that anointing today. When Jesus laid down his life, he gave up his spirit. He was put into the grave. The grave was filled with sickness. And the grave was filled with sickness. And the grave was filled with sickness. He was put into the grave. And the grave was filled with sickness. And the was put in the grave. But wait a minute. I am the finishing anointing. Say your is still active and alive. It's still active and alive. After three days, 
He rose again. Oh, I declare to you today. Whatever dream there was there. This is the season that God will resurrect. Whatever calling on your life there was there. Death cannot stop it. It shall come out. It shall come out. It shall come forth. I don't know how you start. Maybe you had a bad beginning. But today, by the power of Jesus. But today, by the power of Jesus. But today, by the power of Jesus, we break every power of bondage. Not that no shia, not that there is no power of the devil that can stop you. We break every power of bondage. Not that no shia, not that there is no power of the devil that can stop you. We break every power of bondage. Not that no shia, not that there is no power of the devil that can stop you. We break every power of bondage. Not that no shia, not that there is no power of the devil that can stop you. We break every power of bondage. Not that no shia, not that there is no power of the devil that can stop you. Touch your neighbor and say, you shall finish. You shall end well. For no weapon from against you. There shall prosper. There shall prosper. Every door that was shut before you shall be open this season because of the finishing anointing. We bind every devil, we bind every form of opposition, every denial, every delay. You shall finish your purpose. You shall reach your assignment. And when the day comes, you kick the bucket and go home. You can say, I have finished. Touch a neighbor and say, You are finished. You are finished. What is in your life is finished. My last point. Yeah. Very short. Short and sweet. Yes. I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about Maori people and uh, the other ethnicity. But as we begin our relationship, I will understand. But I know very well Sabo and don't like things that can be long. The Sabo people are very good at putting the face up. And we go out the door too long. Number one, when you are number one, not finishing anointing, destroy barrenness. Number two, the finishing anointing makes you achieve much. Last one, the finishing anointing 
shall accelerate your speed. Shut up. 
Speed is coming upon you. Speed is coming upon you. Oh, By the finishing anointing, you shall run. You shall run. In Jesus' name, you shall run. Maybe you say today, Pastor, I never started well. Maybe you're saying today, Pastor, I cannot do it. There's a lot of attacks in my life. But I want to encourage you. The Lord is saying, Yes, you shall finish. I don't care what the devil be saying to you. I also pray that you will shut your ears from all the noise. Shut your eyes from what God don't intend for you to do. Maybe you are saying there are struggles in my life. Financial struggles, marriage struggles, struggles at work, struggles in my family, struggle in my body. Pastor, I'm sick. My hallelujah. The finishing anointing. You shall be healed in Jesus' name. If I know my Lord, if doors were closed before you, we are in the season of the new beginning. God is saying, I will open doors that no man can shut. Because of the finishing anointing. Let's be upstanding. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anointing, anointing.